Welcome back to the second part of our 1 plus 6 sixths T dual boot odyssey. In the previous video, we meticulously prepared your device by partitioning its storage. Today, we embark on the exciting but complex journey of installing Windows 11. This process demands precision, patience, and a keen eye for detail. Let's dive in. Before we begin, let's ensure we have all the necessary components. Your OnePlus 6 or 6T with the partition storage from the previous video. A computer running Windows with a reliable USB cable, the specific Windows ARM image. The necessary drivers for your OnePlus 6 and 6T model. A custom UEFI image tailored for your OnePlus 6 and 6T. It's crucial to use the exact files recommended for your specific OnePlus model to avoid compatibility issues. To provide a clear roadmap of our journey, let's break down the installation process into its core components. Booting into the UEFI environment for accessing the fundamental level of your phone system. Enabling mass storage mode for allowing your computer to recognize your phone as a USB drive. Preparing the designated partitions for Windows using disk part. Deploying the Windows image onto your phone storage. Installing drivers for ensuring hardware compatibility and functionality. Configuring the bootloader to setting up the system to boot into Windows. Each step is essential for a successful Windows 11 installation. Let's delve into the details. Our first step is to enter the UEFI environment, a specialized boot mode that allows us to interact directly with your phone's hardware. Connect your OnePlus to your computer using a high-quality USB cable. Open a command prompt window on your computer and navigate to the folder containing your platform tools. Execute the following command, replacing path to device name uefi.image with the exact path to your uefi image file. This command initiates the boot process into the uefi environment, providing a platform for the subsequent steps. To allow your computer to access and modify your phone's storage, we need to enable mass storage mode. Once your phone has booted into the UEFI environment, you'll be presented with a menu. Use the volume buttons to navigate and the power button to select options. Look for an option typically labeled UEFI boot menu or something similar. Navigate to this menu and select USB attached SCSI UAS storage. Confirm your selection using the power button. This will enable your phone to be recognized as a USB mass storage device by your computer. We're about to make critical changes to your phone's storage. Proceed with extreme caution. Open a command prompt on your computer and type disk part to launch the disk part utility. Warning, incorrect use of disk part can lead to data loss or render your phone inoperable. Double check every command before execution. The first step is to identify the disk representing your OnePlus. Type list disk in the disk part console. Your phone's disk is typically the last one listed. Use the select disk replace dollar sign with the actual disk number. To view the partitions on your selected disk, type list par. Refer back to the partitioning process in the previous video to identify the Windows partition labeled WinInPlus and the ESP partition labeled Espineplus. These partitions are essential for the Windows installation. Before installing Windows, we must ensure the partitions are formatted correctly. Use the Select Partition command with its partition number. Then, format it using the following command. This command formats the partition as NTFS, the file system used by Windows. Similarly, select the ESP partition and format it as FAT32 using following command. FAT32 is the required file system for the ESP partition. To simplify the installation process, let's assign drive letters to the partitions. Use the assign letter equals X command for the Windows partition and assign letter equals Y for the ESP partition. This will make it easier to reference these partitions during the installation. 
Now comes the exciting part. Installing Windows 11, use the following command, replacing path to install.esd with the actual path to your Windows on ARM image. To ensure optimal performance and compatibility, we need to install the necessary drivers. Extract the driver archive you downloaded earlier. A file named firstboot.cmd should be present, run this file. You might be prompted to enter the drive letter of your Windows partition, usually X, press enter to continue. After installing the initial drivers, it's crucial to copy the entire driver archive to the root of your Windows partition. Once you boot into Windows for the first time, extract this archive and run the online updater.cmd file to install the latest drivers. To enable your phone to boot into Windows, we need to create the necessary bootloader files. Open a command prompt and execute the following command. Replace X with the drive letter of your Windows partition and Y with the drive letter of your ESP partition. To bypass certain security checks and optimize the boot process, we need to make some adjustments to the bootloader configuration. Use the following BCD edit commands. These commands enable test signing, disable recovery options, and disable integrity checks, respectively. To avoid potential conflicts, let's remove the drive letters we assigned earlier. Open disk part and use list volume to find the volumes corresponding to your Windows and ESP partitions. Select each volume using select volume and remove the letter using the remove letter equals X. We're nearing the completion of the installation process. Important! Avoid using the slot switch in the UEFI menu as it can brick your phone. Now after doing all these processes, reboot your device. And there you have it, a comprehensive guide to installing Windows 11 on your OnePlus 6 or 6T. This journey has undoubtedly been complex, requiring precision, patience, and a deep dive into the technical intricacies of your device. But the reward of experiencing a fully functional Windows environment on your phone is truly remarkable. Remember, this process carries inherent risks. It's essential to back up your data before proceeding and to follow the steps meticulously. If you encounter any roadblocks, don't hesitate to consult online forums, communities, or seek expert assistance. In the next video, we'll delve into the final stages of setting up your dual boot system. We'll explore how to boot into Windows, optimize performance, and troubleshoot any potential issues. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tech tutorials and updates. Your support motivates us to create more valuable content. Thank you for joining me on this technical adventure.